It's Mr. Truck, it's still in Michigan. I'm here at the Ford Proving Ground north of Detroit. We're all these new trucks for 2023 out here, all super duties. And we're in front of this heavy duty one. This one actually will tow 40,000 pounds in a gooseneck. I mean, it's, it's the first time we've seen that from anybody. So we're up here, we're going to tow this trailer. We're going to tow a lot of trailers. That's what it's all about, see all the new cool stuff. We're going to test it out and then bring you the results. So watch the rest of the review. So what's your impression so far? Smooth, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It is. And for a short truck, it's not bouncing too bad. Yeah, we retuned the shocks. And yeah. We have, so uh, how many overloads does this have on I top? We'll have to go out and count them. Right? Yeah. This is... But the shock tuning, I think, really took kind of the edge off of the 450 that we had. Yeah. For our previous mile of the year uh, with it unloaded, too. It really is a uh, much smoother ride experience. Wow, we got 39 right there. And it forced itself to upshift. I should be watching my gear. I'm in fifth gear now. You know, there's. See, these were. I used to sell before trucks for almost 10 years. You know, Mayor Ford in Denver. I was Mr. Truck Mayor. But anyway, that. Um, these, they still have that balancing bar on the frame in the back. You know, that big round tube that takes vibration out of the frame. The damper. Yeah, is that yeah, still we there? Don't have those anymore. Really? Why? Because that was, you know, why I was there, because on these pickups, 450s, that smoothed it out because they got so much vibration out. I think they had 530 at one time. 530 axle? Yes. And that damper well, took 530 that... 530 was on the chassis catch, right? Oh, that, that... I don't think we have, I think most we ever offered is a 488. Oh, that might have been, I'm thinking, yeah. 488. And, right. yeah, and that's, and see, with those cabin chassis with the 530 rear end, they would vibrate bad yes and so this one was the smoothest driving one of course it had a wider frame too all the things were different on it but just having that damper on there was a major difference so they took it away yeah we don't how they it's smooth enough we but what did you do to change that because that was shock necessary. and the architectures yeah that was just that, that's and the, is this a c channel or just box this is boxed I love C channels because they're made to get rid of that torque. You don't see a semi with a box channel. You I see it with like triple if I would frame. Say, if I would have said it was a C channel, you'd have said I no, love. No, I've never bitched about a C channel. Never <laughs> have straight. I bitched about a C channel. My wife, I used We're to drive semi. I've got to see the on. You know, on semis, you can see those things bounce like crazy when they're taking off on a gravel pit, and that that channel would just let it take the torque. Yeah, wouldn't try to transfer well, it. Hey, to if some you go into our chassis cab, it goes into a C channel. Right there. Well, yeah, so, yeah. But pickups now are boxed all the way. No, that's that's some political crap that they gave in. They gave in the demand for the idiots. Not that it needed it. No, I see. Chan I mean, I've I've had some uh, Western Stars or I drove them that were three frames, okay. and then they had planetaries. See, so we're nine feet wide. <laughs> yeah, no, that's 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 the oil field guys. But that's awesome. yeah, I have nothing against the C uh, C channel. Oh, here right, we are. We're gonna go. We're gonna go we'll up do the a stop loop. sign, okay, and uh, we're gonna test loop. your turning challenge and I'll cheer into I want cones. to. Uh, fly around that corner. Go, 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 Bronco! Oh, I got to park between the cones? <laughs> you want me to parallel park it? No. I can do no, all that no. stuff. So go up just past the stop sign and loop it around. Okay. I should do trailer drift right here. Just let her whip. <laughs> <laughs> let her whip. I've done that on one of these events. I, I, I drifted around a trailer and the, and the side doors came open this little lady was with me she about shit her pants she was gone. <laughs> of course I had one of you guys with me too so what'd you think overall impressions oh I like it I should take it home yes yeah, send us to Colorado well you're taking the other one over there are you and yeah are you Andre's driving Andre I'll, I'll be getting a, but she said I could have it after Andre but I'm not I don't drive all night anymore I'm 65, man. You're a young chicken. Uh, Andre's is the only one that does stupid stuff and never sleeps. That's not me. <laughs> I used to. I, I, my, when Levine was with me, I would do the driving, and he, he would be up on that computers. He'd just sleep all the time when we were driving. No, so this truck here, cool this down. is around. Um, you can let it run if you want or shut it off. This is for the Hot Shot Tour, right? This is right. That's what we designed this for. This is to make sure you can get it all in one trip with that extra 2,000, 3,000 pounds of capacity. And... Keep you 
you know, nothing you forward to do now. You got to do it. Where GM General Motors took those labels that were so wonderful because you guys are the hardest ones to figure out numbers on. Dodge gives you the thing on their website and they kind of quit that too. But freaking GM decided to, they'll still do the payload right, but they decide we'll just call it a category. But they don't tell anybody. So they still see the VIN number right next to it thinking that that's related and it's not. It's 2,000 pounds. I mean, Andre did. We did several videos on that. Andre found it. I couldn't believe it. What do you I mean? You think about, I mean, 500 pounds. That's what I told the lawyer. 500 pounds, I man, it's a mosquito on a Super yeah, Duty. Yeah. And I said, you know, but when you get 2,000 pounds, you can talk about bearings, brakes, yeah. everything's going to wear out. And they're not going to know it. They're so not going to know it. With that point you just made, there is on our Ford.com website now, if you go into your account, you make an account, uh -huh. and you add a VIN number in there. I can't show you because my Wi Fi doesn't work well here, but you yeah. add a VIN number into it. And it will tell you your exact payload and your exact towing. Towing's a big thing. Yeah, payload's usually in the wheel, other sticker. gooseneck, and conventional. Right, ooh, right to the pound ooh. based on your VIN number. See, that's what we so need. So it's taking the numbers as yeah. they go over the scales at the Kentucky truck plant. Right. And then it applies that back into what you can actually tow on the website. So you need to create, create the Ford, account. Ford.com. Ford.com and go into my account. My account. Right. And then you add vehicles into your account. And you can add specific... Uh, uh, VIN numbers and I'll tell you to the pound of what you can Wow, tell that's important. I got to put that in the story because that's so good. Because yeah. Ram was doing that and then they got mad because Andre was saying they were off so they got pissed. Yeah. But Chevy just is screwing people and I hate that. I hate that because they were, they were, we were just praising them all the time about that shit and then yep. they, they screwed us. And that's one of the big pain points that people have, right? Is you buy a truck and yeah, you don't know what it can actually that I know. what that specific truck can actually do for work. Yeah, when I buy Ford, I'll call Mike up and say, "Mike, talk to your engineers, give me a number on this VIN number." Right, and that's what they and go back and they they use the same system that's now available. Wow, online. So that's go check awesome. It out. I'm gonna put that on the story. That's good. That's good information. I'll try it out. Oh, and the other one too, right? Is I don't know if anybody's told you, but we now have auto leveling headlamps. So on the no. King Ranch and above, right, with the auto uses like the onboard skills technology, and we auto level the headlamps. Wow! So go check that out. Yeah, I've got to figure out how to on your, test on your that. Limited that you're taking back to Colorado. Yeah, auto level headlights. Wow, that's good. That so it uses all that it uses scale. the ride height sensors, yep, yeah, and wow. we'll adjust the headlamps. It's also got the pivoting. Right, so it tracks your steering wheel angles and stuff, but the auto leveling that'd make a good story. That would. Headlamps. Yeah, maybe I can interview old Aaron and he can tell me. So what else do you need to know? Yeah. All that. Well, well yeah, but I, I want to make him feel good once in a while <laughs> like he does something. <laughs> yeah. It's... But hey, you know what? This whole project here, right? This was the team effort, but Aaron has been like kind of our leader through all this. Yeah. The passion that Aaron has on this product sure. shows. Well, so, that's cool. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he he is the heavy duty truck guy in the industry when it comes to this segment yeah. of truck, and well, it just good. shows yeah. the amount of detail and effort that. Well, there's so many cool things. I mean, I, I know you copy copy Chevy and all the steps and stuff, and who cares? But they, anyway, well, they don't have the deployable, right? The, what do you mean deployable? So you see that little step underneath the big step? Yeah. You kick it down, and now okay, that's it. new. Yeah, that's how we <laughs> the bumper. On it. Forget all these damn fancy tailgates. Put me a corner bumper step. I well, put that on. We got on that, there. but we have the deployable too. Oh, but this okay. truck just doesn't have it. There's a couple up there. That okay, I'll, oh, now I gotta write some more notes down. You want me to pull that off for you? Yeah, that'd be great. You're, you're a young man. Oh. Don't go away, Mr. Truck.TV. We'll be right back.